Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless everybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are the one. I say it again. You are the one. Hallelujah. So <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover right now. I'm here. I'm here again with um with one of my videos when I I went to China for vacation and <laughs> you know I'm thinking about coming back to my um vlog channel just that i'm lazy to always put videos together but i'm thinking about making just short videos and all that it's going to be fun and it's going to be encouraging to some people so i wanted to do a voiceover and then i thought it wise to use this and drop the voice note yeah so yes so i want to use this opportunity to wish every woman out there a happy international women's day happy 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 international women's day you know um one thing about me i am still green to come to that place i i'm not that used to celebrations like um when it comes to this particular date this particular date and all that you know but i really felt that lord to talk to somebody today and to wish somebody a happy international women's day and to tell you what i'm learned to tell you at this point in time you are the one you are the one i said again you are the one you know there are so many women out there like millions of women and even billion billions of women you know and a lot is happening a lot is going on. So many women out there. And today is a day where the world celebrates a woman. And you must understand one thing. For you to have that particular day where the world begins to celebrate you, it means you are amazing. It means you are wonderful. It means you are powerful. It means you are suited for that position. It means it is only you who could be suited for that particular position. There are so many people out there who are down. There are so many people out there who are celebrating. You know, whenever there is celebration, there are other people who are not celebrating. You must have known this by now. It is not everybody who celebrates. Some people are celebrating and it's always a must that some people should be mourning. And that is how life is. So, Bert, what happens is there are times that you make decisions on your own. There are times that you decide that I don't want to be in this particular place. There are times that you decide that I don't want to be in this particular position. There are times you have to decide to yourself and say, I want to celebrate. I want to jubilate. Even if nothing around you is giving you a reason to celebrate. Even if nothing around you is giving you a reason to jubilate, you must pick up that power. You must pick up that, uh, that authority. You must pick up yourself and say, I want to be in the position to celebrate. Why? If you don't celebrate yourself, nobody will celebrate you. What did I say? If you don't celebrate yourself, nobody will celebrate you. I say it for the third time. If you don't celebrate yourself, nobody will celebrate you. I just felt this let in my spirit to tell somebody, please type it on the comment section, connect yourself and make that confession. Call your name and say, I celebrate you. Ethel, I celebrate you. Call your name. I celebrate you. The first person to celebrate is you. You must be the person, the first person to celebrate yourself before others can celebrate you. Ethel, I celebrate you wherever you are, whoever you are, call your name and begin to celebrate yourself. You know, 
I've had amazing women that the Lord has sent to my ministry and these women have been so amazing. These women have been so wonderful and every time I remember them, I celebrate them. I celebrate them. I celebrate them. There are names that I might call and there are names that I might not call. Not necessarily because I am biased, but there are people who always give you a reason to, to remember them. There are people whose names cannot leave your mind and your lips. And the Bible says such people are worthy of double honor. You cannot expect that I'm always seeing this particular person being active in my ministry. And then you who is not active, and then I call your name when I don't even, um, and, um, you know, and all that. So one thing is, even if nobody calls your name, you should be the one to first of all call your name. Begin to type it as you're calling your name. Call your name wherever you are right now. Type it on the comment section. Mention your name and begin to celebrate yourself. You are the one that is fit for that position as a woman. You are the one that could be in that place as a woman. You are the one that could do amazing things as a woman. There is no other person who could do what you're doing right now. And that is why the title of this prophetic word says, you are the one. Yes, you are the one. You are the one that is fit for that position. The woman that was best. The woman, even if you have a child, you don't have a child. You are the woman that was fit to have children and fit to do the work you're doing right now. God bless you. Happy Women's Day to everybody. I have some amazing women that have carried that have been with me. With with it's been it's been it's been an amazing time with these amazing people. I have Joanne Jackson. Happy Women's Day to you. Don Shake Jackson. Happy Women's Day to you. I have um. Uh, Shakitha James, happy Women's Day to you. Oh, Janet Wilkinson, happy Women's Day to you. Gail Cutting, happy Women's Day to you. Tonya Agabi, I have a lot of people, so many people, so, so many people that I would love to keep calling names, Makita Campos. There are so many women who the Lord has raised, who has been of help to my ministry, been of great support to my ministry. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful with you all. You know, I have seen loyalty with people. You know, there are times that I've been so absent but I see some people who still check up on me. You don't want to check up on somebody only when you see them. You don't want to give them gift only when you see them. You don't want to sow seeds only when you see people. That is called hypocrisy. You want to stand by people even when you don't see them. You know, I've seen a lot of people who, when you're available, they are there. And when you are not there, they look for the next available person. And that is so wrong. Even if you're looking for the next available person, let the person that was once available for you appreciate them check up on them people are going through a lot you never know ah god bless everybody god bless you powerfully god bless you tremendously happy new year sister jessica chidima happy new year you know there's so many so many names and all that are women who has been of great support to me my ministry and all um, um nikki evans happy women's day to you it's it's been a whole lot it's been a whole lot so so many people so so many people and god says you are the one for that position you are the one for that amazing place you are the one happy new um happy uh sorry women's day jessica favor happy uh oh, oh. i i think i i i pray is the jessica from um uh from africa i'm talking about Oh, God bless you, all family. God bless everybody. God bless you so much. I might not have mentioned your name, but God bless you. You know, most of these people I mentioned their names is because I get to, I get to sometimes um, read messages from them. I get to sometimes receive offerings from them. But forget about the offerings, okay? I'm talking about I get to see their consents all the time, and these people are in my heart. Yeah, I'm never forgetting these people, always praying for these people, always praying 
for these people. God bless you. I see your help. I see your support. I see your care. I see a lot of people who says, Pastor, I've not seen you for a while now, but I still care about you. And I see other people who do not even have time to say, oh, oh, she used to pray with us. And well, how is she doing? Probably she's going through something or she's fine, you know. But when I'm going to come back live, of course, I'm going to see all of these people who come to tell me, I love you, Pastor Ethel. Oh, wow. Love is in action. You want to show people that you love them and you care about them, even when they are not around. Sometimes a love message is all that some of us need. Pastor, I've not seen you in a while. I just wanted to check up on you. God bless everybody who stood by me. God bless you. I love you so much. I do. I love you so, so much. Happy um, Women's Day to you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. Keep you cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so, so, so much. I do. Keep praying for me. Keep trusting God for me. I'm coming back live. Oh my goodness. I'm coming back live. Get ready. Get ready. I'm coming back live. God bless you all family. I love you so, so much. I do. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you really waiting for? Please kindly subscribe to this channel. God bless you all. I see people sending me love gift. I see people sending me love offerings on PayPal, on Catch Up. God bless you. I love you so much. And sometimes I come on, on the chat session and I see super chats and super stickers. God bless you. I love you. And every name, for every name that I always see, a love gift, an offering, a seat, Trust me and believe you me when I tell you I make sure that I always call those names. I call the names and I decree blessings and I declare blessings on those names. Always. There is no one name that has ever sent a seed or an offering or a love gift without me mentioning their name or a their tithes. I've had a lot of people sending their tithes. Oh, these people are special. God bless you. I always pray for you. It's different. Trust me, it's different. God bless everybody. I welcome everybody into the membership. Every new member, God bless you. Thank you for renewing your membership. I'm going to have a session with you. It's been a prolonged session. But get ready. We are about to have a session again. I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you all, family. I love you so much. God bless you powerfully and tremendously. For all the times that I always see a super chat or a super sticker on the comment section, I always put a, a heart on it. I put a heart on it so that you know that I saw it. And I always call the person's name and bless that person wherever I am. I make sure that I'm committed to that. Yes. Because these are people who believe and these are people who say, oh, okay, I'm honoring this. God bless you. I love you so much. Thank you all for praying for me. I know so many people are praying for me. You might not have sent me a message though, but I know you're praying for me. I know you're doing a lot behind. God bless you. I love you so much. I love you. Happy International Women's Day. And to all the men who are joining this particular session, God bless you so much. I love you. I love you so, so, so much. God bless you. Shalom.